going on guys? Miata's man here again today and today we're gonna do a couple very easy ones. First things first, Mazda Tribute windows, windshield squirters. Um, if you ever get some dust in your windshield, you hit the sprayers, they're not the best. Mazda did better and we have the solution right here. That and also we're gonna throw in some Delrin door bushings. I have like some eBay 3D printed ones. I bought them a few years ago and never installed them so I figure put them to use. Um, see if they do anything better for structure and rigidity. Yeah, rigidity. Um, well, let's hop right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is undo these. They'll pop off pretty easy, hopefully, for you. And that's a pain to get to. Okay, so basically if you look at your uh, new ones, they have these clips that squeeze in. Now that you got this popped off, you're going to want to take a pair of needle nose pliers and get in there. And try to get around those clips and squeeze them in. And pop your old ones out. Not too hard. Looks like it's almost there. And then... Okay, so we're going to try and make this work, but as you can tell, the original 91 ones are a lot longer than these, so you might have to add on an extension piece onto your hose to make these work. But the fan pattern on these is much better than the double stream of these. It'll actually get across your windshield. And it's as easy as simply popping them in. You're going to want to make sure you have this rubber gasket, though. I think you can order them new from Mazda, but I got mine from the junkyard. And then they just simply press into place. Unfortunately, I am going to have to get some hose for this. This isn't very hard to find. Okay, so I just found a simple scrap off of a junker. Um, same windshield hose. Cut a few pieces of this, splice them on, and we'll get right to it. What are you calling a junker? Okay, so probably not advised, but I really don't care about this engine, so we're just going to cut this with clean ends. And that should do. Now I'm simply going to find the nipple for the new squirter there. And, uh press on the hose. <laughs> Be out of stuff. And connect it up. There you have it. Repeat for the other side. What are you putting that on again? <laughs> Put it on the nipple of the squirter. <laughs> on the nipple of the feed line. There you have it. Perfect. Okay, so next up on the list is these Dalrin door bushings. These are 3D printed eBay stuff. Um, Blind me out of sells the best ones I've seen so far. I got these a few years ago, so see what they do. Hopefully it stiffens up the chassis a little bit because the door kind of works as a brace. And these are like gummy bears. So let's take these gummy bears off and make them stiff. Now you're gonna need 10 mil and it's just two bolts. Very simple. might want to clean up if you get any dirt like I do. That's ugly looking. Alright, so 
So next, we're gonna wanna just put our bushing up to there, throw the two bolts in very loosely. If you actually look, those are oval slots and that's for adjustment purposes. Okay, so here what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna get them snug, but not too tight. Just enough to where basically the door cup, which is right here, Basically, so that door cup right there will align this for us. So we just get it very snug tight, but not tight tight, if that makes any sense. Just enough so it can move with a little bit of force. Then we're going to close our door. Might not close the best up for us. Definitely a tight fit. You just gotta kind of work them out a little bit. Just tighten it where it's set and then use a little bit of lube on it. That way it works its way in. Your door might close a little tight for a little bit, but it'll wear itself in pretty good. Spray a little lube on there. definitely a more tight fit and it'll probably take a little time for it to wear into these cups it's definitely a tight fit makes the door feel a lot firmer on opening and closing but uh yeah that's all it takes to do that it's pretty easy You got it okay, down? So keep an eye out. The next video is gonna be uh, it's gonna be something big. It's gonna take a little bit of time to do. So when that comes out, we'll be enjoying it. Take it easy. <laughs>